We lit. All right, folks. Welcome back to another episode of the Brundles Games Podcast. We back, baby. Mm-hmm. We bite. Sorry about the delay, people, but life has been happening in rapid abundance. And if you want to know what happened, y'all better go listen to the Thoroughbred Talks podcast and or be in the live streams where I talk, where I tell you about it first and foremost. That way I don't have to get the questions asked later on in the day and things of that sort. With that being said, let's go ahead and get on, oh, in. on Twitch. There's that too. Um, as well as uh, any announcements I got to make at the moment, uh, make sure you go check out the Teespring. Know what I'm saying I got three different damn collections of over there. Uh, yeah, get yourself some merch and tag me in it so I can show you love. Show me some love. You did what I'm saying. Uh, y'all got anything? Same nope. thing for me about merch. And a uh, new video should be dropping tomorrow. All right. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and on. Uh, Get on into this thing then. Now, I don't even feel like hesitating. We just got, we just got to dive right on into this, man. PlayStation. <sighs> I mean, we kind of seen this coming. You dig? It happens like with every generation where a console ends up being on top. Then they get too full of themselves and start doing some extra shit. Rambo's the one who broke this news to us in the group chat. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let him take the lead on this one, bro. Go, go ahead and, and, and initiate these niggas real quick. Ratio that. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. We we, we got a ratio PlayStation because this shit bricked my console. Yes. All right, man. You know what I'm saying? PlayStation. PlayStation. Let me let me explain to you. Let me paint you the day. Okay. You know what I'm saying? How you fucked me over, right? So PlayStation. You know what I'm saying? I get up. You know what I'm saying? I go to work. I come home. I get on my PlayStation, I see it's an update. Now I got plans to play with one of my homegirls who I have not played with in many moons. Shout out to homies, you know what I'm saying? Have not played with in many moons. I get on. I try to get a party, I try to get in a party, you know what I'm saying? Before she get in there, before she get on, you know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling the party. PlayStation tells me, hey brother, you got to pick. One of these, one of these already previous conversations that you have with people to create a party chat. You can't just get into a party chat by yourself. All right, that's red flag number one. I'm all right, you know what, man? Fuck it, dog. So I just go ahead and send it to her. 30 minutes early, I send her the fucking party invite. 30 minutes early. She gets on and won't let her, it won't let her join. So I said, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Send me one. She sent me an invite. The invite said, you cannot join this party. This party invite may have been sent from someone using a PS Vita. PlayStation, what? Come again? So you know what I'm saying? After 30 minutes of trying to get this shit to work, we finally get into a party. Then you, then I get a notification. Before you join the party, it says, Hold on, hold my fat, hold on. I'm gonna read it to y'all verbatim for the dumb motherfuckers that tried to argue with me um, in a chat. I'm not gonna say from where, I'm gonna just say, you're stupid. This says, and I quote, <clears throat> voice chats may be recorded for moderation. By joining, you agree to being recorded. PlayStation then puts out a fucking article that says we ain't recording you. Let me read this one more time. Voice chats may be recorded for moderation. By joining, you're agreeing to being recorded. Sound like I'm being recorded to me. PlayStation, who the fuck told y'all we wanted to be recorded? Who the fuck told y'all we wanted to have to already have a conversation open with a person to create a party chat? Who told y'all we we didn't want to be able to be in a party chat by ourselves? PlayStation. Your ass. I'm buying your console, but I don't need party chat. For all I give a fuck, you can remove party chat completely from your system. Don't care. Yeah, I don't use that shit. (laughs) Adding this, adding this is completely stupid. And then kind of come back and say, we did not, we're not recording you. And then saying, 
on PS5, you, you, the, the people in your party will be able to record you. Hey, Rambo. Huh? It wasn't me. What you mean it wasn't you? They got from 4K, nigga? They definitely 4K! did that. Hey. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what they did. It so, wasn't me. I caught you from 4K. They, de- they definitely out here with the 4K catch, dog. What up, kid? Oh, PlayStation. It's the most HD shit I've so ever seen. Levels. PlayStation, there's so many levels of ass that you are. I can't believe you. Why? Nobody asked for this. Now, if you were saying you're put, you're allowing us to record audio so we could use that audio ourselves. Not so you could spy on us, you little bitch at. You know what I'm There's uh, already been like people tweeting about like how they got banned. <laughs> like they're just monitoring voice chats now. Oh wow, you said the N word. You got to get banned now. Ain't nobody in 2K about to go into party chat now. <laughs> no, 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 party chat in the first place. If you wanted to push people more into the arms of Discord, you have pretty much done it now. They got one more slip up before it turns into I don't even know if I want a PlayStation. And it's not that's not even me it's, wilding. It's so no, that is, no, no what that, that doesn't bother you. But the thing is, do you think that's the end of it? You know it's not because it's never the end. It's never the end. Because they're on top right now. It's it's never the end. They're it's gonna push people cool. away because that's gonna be the baby monitoring console. Anytime you say or do anything that's considered Toxic. You're going to get banned. Ain't nobody going to be on PlayStation. <laughs> Ain't nobody. I'm sorry. You shouldn't be on PlayStation party chat in no way, shape, or form. Like, I'm about to literally most, have to wean this man Jordan off of that. Shout out to my man Jordan. But uh, now, <laughs> most people, all everybody that it's not like us, like, if, if we're going to be honest, if none of us were like full on content creators, we probably would just now be thinking about getting into Discord. Because there would be no point in us being in Discord. Yeah, because most of our if we're all just playing on PlayStation. We would yeah, most of our normal friends are, um, pretty much in still in party chats. Yeah, which is like it's understandable because like they're not they don't really benefit from Discord for the most part until now. I mean, um, Discord so- gives you way too many options to not. Yeah, but I'm just I'm still saying like. If if we had no like need for it, like us doing a podcast or something, or like when I didn't have a PlayStation yet and we were doing the podcast, stuff like that, it's like I understand it then. But if we're all already on PlayStation and we all have headsets that work on PlayStation, why do I need this? I see what you're saying, but it still just works better. Cause I mean, like it's like your own type of like. Uh, a Twitter yeah. feed essentially without like, being on Twitter. Like, as of now, now there's more of a reason to have it because PlayStation is recording you and then saying on the back end, we're not recording. Yeah, we're not recording you, but we're recording you. Dog, you just said it. Like, you literally just said we're recording you and then you're going to say, oh no, we're not though. Yeah, I, you I, are. I, I, hey, well, hey, remember how I said Mike Wang was going to get Capper of the Year most likely? Nope, yeah, PlayStation. PlayStation definitely got him <laughs> beat, dog. Hey, PlayStation might have beat him. Like, PlayStation, you want, you, want, you want me to tell you in simple words what PlayStation just did to us? What? They dragged Craig into the call. Hey, I was just about nah, to say that. Nah, because nah, Craig ain't no snitch. Craig just be sitting there chilling. He'll record, but he ain't going to get you banned. That ain't Craig. That's whoever, whatever you give an annoying little sister a name, whatever that name will be in your head, that's the name of that box. So, ooh, I'm telling. Yeah, Play, that, that one. PlayStation Penny? Yup, that works. <laughs> PlayStation Penny, I bet. Hey, got a runny nose and everything talking about, I'm telling. All you hear is, ooh, <laughs> I'm telling. No. Oh, don't put that on Craig. Craig, cool. Yeah, I bet now <laughs> hook up that PS hey. PlayStation HD camera either they watch. I, don't, I got my own webcam, and I'm sorry, I've been on record saying this. If the FBI want to spy on me, that's cool. You might just see a, a whole lot of awkward staring while I'm beating off. <laughs> Niggas looking through my camera, all they see is me over here making beats. This nigga makes some fire music. They look at my shit like this nigga really jacking off again. Yup. 
Post nut clarity, dog. That's how I get shit done. Like for most people, the when it comes to like a webcam, depending on where you have your webcam set up, FBI can spy. All they gonna see is the wall. Sit down, bitch. Because my shit, my hard. shit, my shit literally uh like faces away. Like my shit's always looking at a wall at a damn sound panel. By the way, chat and people in the in the uh podcast really listen to like the mobile version of this shit um i su- i was supposed to mute everybody but for whatever reason they just decided to just not mute everybody in the, in the game i'm playing all right there we go now everybody's muted again but yeah playstation started doing this i thought i ain't gonna hold you i didn't really think much of it because again like i use discord all the fucking time only time i ever get in party chats like when i gotta talk to jordan that is it and that shit pisses me off but I mean, it's it's stupid, and then for them to say, "Oh yeah, we're recording you," and then to go back and say we're not recording you, but people were already sharing screenshots of like them getting banned for being quote unquote toxic or whatever. Like what? <laughs> and then the and then the argument of, "Oh, well, we're doing this because kids get on PlayStation." That sounds like a personal problem. No, 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 no. Here, here's the perfect argument. <laughs> <laughs> they have they have settings on there called parental control. <laughs> Why the no, fuck can't you use no. Definitely part of the update. No, they are no, but I'm saying they already had parental control options. They added more. <laughs> like no. all consoles have had parental control options. Like you Why definitely you could mean? just be like, yeah, my kid can't get in no party chat this and third. But again, that that requires what our favorite word accountability. Yeah. And a lot of people who are trash at parents think that they're good parents and don't want to accept that they're bad parents and need to uh, fix their ways. Yeah, I shove a monitor, I shove a damn screen in front of my kid's face every day and tell him what he can and cannot do and show him no type of love or affection. Hey, I I shove a phone screen in my kid's face and tell him he don't do anything but play them damn games. (laughs) And then wonder why he's socially awkward because he doesn't interact with anybody else. And I'm staying on PlayStation now, but I still gotta get PlayStation Make Flowers later. PlayStation can suck beef. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm still mad. My console got bricked because of this damn update. So when I did try running this update last night, because I was going to beat Ghost of Tsushima last night, I was actually gonna just stream mm-hmm. a marathon of me just playing it till I fucking beat it. Um, ran the system update. System update said we have to restart your console. As soon as I restarted my console, it just said that there's a system error. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Press X to continue, press uh, circle to cancel. I press X to continue, my entire shit froze. And I don't mean like this froze, I mean like my controller turned off. I tried using a different one. That one would turn on and turn right back off. Like it would flash orange like it's charging even though it's not on the charger and it's turned back off. So I'm like, all right, cool. Let me go ahead and try the factory or hard reset this thing. Held the damn button for like 10 seconds or whatever. It did not turn off. It didn't even give me like the two like aggressive beeps, the beep beep that you used to get. It didn't even do that. So then I was like, all right, you know, IT 101, we're going to have to do, we're going to have to go ahead and, and, you know, take the risk. Let me go ahead and, bless you. Let me go ahead and unplug this thing or whatever, right? Unplugged it. Waited for like five, 10 seconds. Plugged it back in. The same error appeared on screen. And I don't mean like it turned on and then that came up. No, I mean like the error was already on the screen. So then I held it again, finally turned off. It beeped once, but it didn't do the two beeps back to back. Then it beeped again. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna try it this way. Let it go off, right? Mm -hmm. To which again, nothing fucking happened. My shit literally showed me the error message one more time. I unplugged it, unplugged HDMI. I was like, all right, cool, let me try this again. Plugged it back in. Turned it on, held it for a little bit to see if I could hear the two beeps. Nope. It beeped once, and then it kept on turning on and turning back off. I mean turning on, turning back off. I mean the screen kept on turning on and off. And I don't mean I was able to see like the PlayStation symbol. I mean, you know like we could tell like your console like turning on because your TV or monitor screen like turns like lighter? It was doing that. Yep, it kept doing that over and over again. So I plugged in my controller to try to do it that way didn't work i literally tried three to four different fucking options even looked it up live on stream shit didn't work so essentially i got a brick console that's not gonna work and i got another eight terabyte hard drive that's about to be plugged into my pc so playstation i fucking hate you because i've never had this problem before 
never had this problem before until this update. And PlayStation might have taken the hold on, let me go ahead and put on my aluminum foil cap real quick. Know what I'm saying? PlayStation might have taken a note out of uh um Apple's book or whatever where they gonna do some fuck shit that we have to get the new shit. I'm just Ooh. saying. Ooh. So yeah, my place my PlayStation don't work no more. I'm a little I'm like mildly upset. And when I say mildly, I mean like minusculely. Only because I want to play Kingdom Hearts a couple more times. I want to do a walkthrough on that before I, you know, retire this bitch. But I can't, so I'm about to take it to the shooting range probably next week and just shoot the shit out of it. So yeah. Thanks, PlayStation. Thank you for fucking up my console. Thankfully, all my shit is saved to me. No, PlayStation fucked me over with that too, you know what I'm saying? Hey, everything is saved to my damn account, luckily. As well as... What? As well as uh, um, what's the shit? It's saved to my uh, account as well as like everything's like on my hard drive. But even then, I really don't care because like all my hard disk games, I still have the ones I want to keep. So everything important that I wanted, I still have. Who the f am I supposed to play Ghost of Tsushima with now? Oh, yeah, fuck you, PlayStation. You definitely fuck. Cause I was definitely gonna play that shit today. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Over. Yeah, it's definitely over. I ain't got nobody to play with. Little dumb dumb din din ain't answering none of my text messages, man. He still ain't played the game, so you know he ain't playing. I yet. know, but I could have made him download it. Little din din read my message and then ignored it, man. I asked him if he was alive. All right, uh, real quick rant because I I, I want to get this off my chest. Niggas be saying I don't be playing games. This nigga Dennison has the largest library of games to pick from out of everyone besides maybe Woo. And don't play none of them shits, dog. He still be playing NCAA on PS2. He got a better library than me because why is my damn library? <laughs> no, no. I, I was leaving you out of it for the reason of it's your library. No. <laughs> I was leaving you out of it for that reason. <laughs> So he has that entire library of games to be playing. He ain't got to pay for none of them. All he got to do is download the shit. Dennison has <laughs> not played. played none of them. Dennison has not played God of War. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Ghost of Tsushima. He ain't played none of the Persona games, which I don't really blame him. But damn. I got Kakarot. I think you know he played because it's Dragon Ball. Hold on, I ain't done. You know what I'm saying? PUBG. I get Madden every year, specifically just for him. I don't even play this shit. I buy Madden for this. Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Great game. I have, not to mention, I have EA Play. I got the Batman Telltale series, the Game of Thrones Telltale series, Beyond Two Souls. I got every fuck damn near every Call of Duty. I got me I got all the Metal Gear Solids. You know what I'm saying? Mad Max, Tales of the Borderlands, Outlast 2. Yo, the amount of games that is on here, Ratchet and Clank. He's only playing like four. Like. I even got The Last of Us Remastered and The Middle of Us 2. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Game. Like, Dennison gets every game that, that pretty much comes out because I buy every game that pretty much comes out for the most part. I mean, at least bought it. This nigga has not. So. He played at Max 4, including the Call of Duties. I just want to let it be known while y'all going on this rant about Dennison, which by the way is fucking hilarious. Um, I've gotten a hit marker with a sniper rifle four times thus far. Are you playing the beta? Mm hmm. Wait, are you, are you playing? Oh, is that live? Yeah, it's live right now. I'm playing it. And I've gotten four hit markers with a sniper rifle. Is it an enjoyable experience? Not in the fucking slightest, because I'm getting one shotted, but they're not getting one shotted. And I remember they asked that goofy shit. But yeah, so oh my fucking lord! So yeah, Denison gets a lot of games and just doesn't play them. So all right, uh, <clears throat> PlayStation holds L. You brick my console. I hate you. Um, other, I guess, kind of Sony-ish. Uh, I guess 
I guess it's Sony related news in some way, shape, or form. That's kind of hilarious because I mean, it's, it's more so Xbox, but um, <laughs> so if y'all remember in the previous podcast, we talked about how Xbox signed a 7.5 billion, 5 billion, 5 billion, 5 billion dollar deal uh, with Bethesda essentially getting like exclusive rights to like their games, shit like that. Mm-hmm. So people are asking are they going to be able to make uh, a profit you know are they gonna be able to you know turn that shit around considering that you know 7.5 billion is a lot of fucking dough like that that's that's, yeah, that's, a lot. That, that's some bread right there so they're asking if they're gonna be able to recoup from that because you know we already talked about this every console you're selling at a loss in some way shape or form yeah but the there question is no console where they weren't selling at a loss really yeah so it's like are you gonna be able to recoup from that uh, Phil Spencer actually is all like, yeah, well, you're going to be able to, because the question is, are are you going to be able to play the, your Bethesda games on PlayStation 5 if they're coming out for PlayStation 5 or whatever? Now, the article from a PC Gamer uh, basically says that they're going to honor whatever games that were said to come out on PS5 to PS5, but anything after that, they don't have to do it. Essentially, like, say that... For instance, or whatever, Elder Scrolls, or whatever, right? Because we all, uh, at least I love that fucking game. Um, I find it interesting. They don't have to necessarily make it, like, if it's not announced for PS5, because, like, there's nothing been announced for it thus far, I think. Uh, mm. Since it hasn't been announced, you know, to even come to PS5 or any way, shape, or form, they can keep that as an Xbox exclusive. And if they really want to get funky with it, they really want to get funky with it, they can literally just have it be a, a Xbox. Uh, game pass game and sell it to playstation or whatever for full price Mm. yeah so essentially like if the game isn't already honored for like playstation they don't have to necessarily make it available for playstation so xbox could get yeah so xbox could get in a bag if they really want to on playstation all right i'm sorry i gotta do it and i'll just do it but i gotta keep it right can we be honest how many of the Bethesda games do niggas want to play? You'd be surprised. Nigga, let's be real. How many, the, how many of them Bethesda games now yeah. that's going to come out do niggas remember, really yeah, I remember there, there are still people playing Fall Asleep 76. Shut you up. would be surprised. Shut okay. Up. okay. Is but is it enough people to consider that game? The, okay, let's say Fallout 77 come out, right? <laughs> Sorry. It's basically the same shit. Is niggas gonna buy that game? Let's be real. The niggas that play Fall Asleep 76 will play Fall Asleep 77, people. but that's about it. I'm if you're talking about for a different game, no, if we're not but, talking about Fall Asleep 76 making a new game, no. If they do that, no, it's not gonna sell. But I'm but something you, like Elder Scrolls with Bethesda's track record, Elder Scrolls is not going to like. Seven point what is it? Seven point five million? Billion? That's Elder Scrolls ain't nigga no. Elder Scrolls ain't recouping that. They gotta put out heat. I don't trust Bethesda, nor do I trust Xbox enough to believe that they're gonna come out with some shit that's gonna help their console recoup. They, that, that, well, make, don't they get all the companies that Bethesda technically owns as well? Yep. But that's they don't still a lot of games. That's a lot of games. That's cool. But what, nigga, you got to think about it. What are they really doing? Like, what What are they really, like, if you told me. Um, my, biggest, my biggest issue is Bethesda needs to make a perfectly functioning game. And Rob, I, I know, not, I'm I'm not about Rob, I know you're not talking about Prey. That game was god awful, and I bought it day one. I don't want to hear nothing about it. What game? Some people like it. Pray, pray. Oh yeah, some people it's, actually like that game for whatever reason. What was my pray pray was doodle. What Rob? What game are you talking about? Because you said not that one. Which one? What space the, game? Are you talking about? Oh, I think he's talking about uh the uh, uh Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds. Okay, let's do it like this. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, Biggie gonna call me the reason after I say this. Mm-hmm. Or we probably will, because Biggie might not know what I'm talking about straight off the bat. Is Outer Worlds a console seller? You did that. You really did that. <laughs> but no, but is it? Some people like it. I'm, no, no, I'm no, gonna... no, 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 no. I hate when you do that. I hate when you do that. 
I hate when you try to take I'm you no, to, if no, no time out. All right, all right, no. If you want a legitimate answer, yeah, here's my legitimate answer. No, no right? I'm not a console seller. Then, but then, then, let me let me finish. Let me finish. It is a very he said uh Starfield, but uh it is oh. a very oh, hard yeah. task to do of making a game that's actually going to sell consoles. Xbox has that issue. Oh, we know. No, mostly if we're gonna be honest, most Sony games are not console sellers. But uh, let me let me ask you this. Name me, name me five games. Five games that are coming out in the next year that you consider a console seller for Sony. Uh, you, Spider Man uh, only uh, taking one. All right, hold on. You right. said that you can only one that are at, at, no Spider Man's already won. So I need four more. That are actually console sellers, not ones that you think are going to be good console sellers. Ratchet and Clank. That's a, all right, that's two. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ratchet and Clank for sure. The New Horizon Zero Dawn. Mm-hmm. What? I dare, you. I dare you! I dare you! I dare you to fix your lips and say it's not. That one is. Did the, did the original Horizon Zero Dawn? <laughs> Console yep, that I, that game I, went I, nuts. That game went nuts. I, I, I wasn't even asking that like as like to try to say it's not. I genuinely didn't know. I yes. bought my PS4 for that game. That that game my actually Xbox. did incredibly well. I traded in my Xbox for that game because I wanted that shit. I took oh, off shit. a week from work to play that shit. All that right, that's game three. was insane. That's three. Yeah, I'm not doing all that though. I mean, that that's three games so far. Godfall is another one. Godfall is not a console seller. Mm, I disagree with you. I disagree. I don't think like if PlayStation was like this is dropping day one. I I consider Godfall, even though I, we haven't played it yet, but like Godfall is what I think of Killzone, and I'm not comparing the games. I'm just saying, it just so happens to be a game that's coming out on the day one release, and niggas gonna buy it. Because I'm gonna be honest, if Killzone came out later on in the console generation, was we buying that shit? I didn't like Killzone when it first came out on PS3, but Godfall actually looks good, incredibly oh, good. No, no, no. no, Godfall looks good, but I don't think it's gonna be a console. Zone. I, I do because because the hype that is around that game, people actually want a PS5 just so they can play Godfall. That's how I know. People are like that's the console stuff. That's gonna move you into this. I was gonna say it depends because if it's a very niche game, then I don't think so. It's not. It's not gonna be that. Di- that's not gonna be that a big of a niche game only because it's not gonna be that difficult to pick up and play. That's the biggest thing that like console sellers always have an issue with is the playability because nobody wants to sit there and try to like pick up a console. I mean, pick up a game. For or accounts for a specific game, just for that game to be utterly fucking difficult. Well, if we doing God, if we doing Godfall, Demon Souls is too good. No, hell no, don't I, do that. No, I, hell, no. that game the, the community, the community is falling all over this game, and that you know how hard it is. That game is difficult as shit. The fuck, I, are you talking about? I, I, I could also make the argument Bloodborne definitely looked more fun than that game right there, dog. Uh, Deathloop, Ghostwire. He didn't die. Project Death. You said Death. Wait, 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 wait. You said Deathloop was a console seller. Uh, what? Did you, you said that was a console seller. Did you not remember the game? And it's Blacklist. You said it was a con. That is not a console seller. Okay, then, then whatever. You, and then Project Athia. And I dare you try to tell me that one not. That one damn near is on the level of Horizon Zero Dawn when it first came out. That uh, game, Project Athia. Mm. You probably don't remember what it is. That's why I am on Google right now looking this shit up. A T A I A. That was one. That was the, one of the games. I was like, "Ooh, that's coming out on this." Oh, that shit look hard. I don't watch all. Doesn't count. Nah, it's a multiplayer. 
Hey, uh, what is is Hitman Three a PS Five exclusive? I don't think so. I think because that's done by Square, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. Never I'm, really played. I'm looking at it. Hold on. I don't. I don't remember. I feel like it's a Square. I, game. IO Interactive. I don't think this is done by Square. Hmm. Yeah, it's IO Interactive. And I don't think it's exclusive. I'm gonna lie to you. If Hitman, I won't say it's a, this ain't no console selling. But damn, if this is a fucking exclusive to PlayStation, that's a dub. Is Hold up, they ain't even give it. Nah, you can't do Project Athy. This shit don't even got a release date. What's your point? Nick, it don't got a release date. What's your point? I keep fucking. D D D <sighs> I'm so Nick. irritated. I keep I getting shot in the head. All the other games that you have named have a release date. I'm not going to consider this I'll a console. What about Ghostwire then? And this, and this is amazing. This is a Bethesda game. Ghostwire. Ghostwire Tokyo. This shit. Fucking at it. In the train. Yeah, they need to fix this game's hit detection immediately. Um, but y'all continue. I'm, I'm over here just getting irritated playing COD. It's not a very easy thing to do of making a game that really is going to move a bunch of units. Yeah, like, but what I'm saying is PlayStation does it more often. I'm not going to say PlayStation doesn't do it more often, but it's not like they have just a plethora like, be like real. They have a Tell me. catalog of ridiculous okay. games. No, they, so, have, okay, so they let's have a... Do, they let's just do have Okay, let's take, we're going to take, and I'm helping Xbox. Let's take into account their entire last gen, the entire Xbox One generation, mm -hmm. and then add Bethesda to that. Are they, are there, is their catalog anywhere topping songs? I'm, I'm, no, you are not hearing what I said. I never said that with Bethesda, that, they're going to be on the same saying. level. I'm saying Bethesda does not move the needle enough. For Xbox, for me, like I yeah, it depends on the games because there's a good amount of companies where it's like, you, I don't expect them to make certain games. But and the biggest thing is Bethesda needs to actually optimize make their a shit. Stable, yeah, an actual optimized, stable game, and Xbox not, needs to not cancel it. If those two things can happen, <laughs> if only one of them can happen. happen yeah. and, ooh, if only one of those I can see happening. Oh, I trust God. Xbox. And it's still I'm not right. touching. I like if okay. If you tell me Bethesda, I mean PlayStation, and we had Bethesda, we're not fucking with y'all no more. Okay, bye. Like Bethesda, Bethesda from a standpoint of Xbox's Game Pass helps them more there than anything that they will put out. <laughs> anything. Because that's what Xbox want. They want their catalog. And their catalog, honestly, is it, like they have a really good catalog. But like you don't put Bethesda on the level of a rock star. Like if Xbox was like, yo, nigga, we got rock star on our game pass. We own these niggas. You want Grand Theft Auto 6? I, hey, I, I would be surprised. I'd be surprised if Rockstar was oh, like, no, but that's yeah, what I'm saying. Like, Bethesda's, this is gonna be a not that type of company where you like, I'm shaking in my boots because y'all niggas gonna acquire Bethesda. Like, them acquiring Bethesda was a dub. Especially if you're an Xbox owner because you get to play those games. But it ain't that much of a dub where nigga, I'm like, nigga, I got to go get that. No, that's because but that's also that's because you're not a huge fan of Bethesda. What do you look at Bethesda games? Like, I don't know, PlayStation. When I say huge fan, Nick, you are not oh, playing Fallout 76. Huh? Once again, you are not playing Fallout 76. But I played a bunch you of Bethesda no, games. No, when I say huge fan, I mean you're still playing their games. Like, those are still some of your most Fallout 76 games. because nobody I knew was getting it. And it wasn't really like I've never been a real fan of Fallout either. Like I don't really, I don't really care for the Fallout shit. 
Like, I mean, there's, still, like there's still people that still play re- like regular Elder Scrolls. They play Elder Scrolls online. I play oh, Elder Scrolls. Hey, hey, oh, Biggie, I'm gonna need you stop putting me out there like that. I'm really starting to resent this shit. But like, I, I, don't not- think, I like. <laughs> I have, like, I'm the only person that I know in the circle of people that I talk to that bought Rage too. I was excited for Rage too. The only person who bought that shit. Like, I played these Bethesda games. I bought Prey Day 1. So I'm thrilled from Bethesda because I know their catalog. Their catalog ain't hitting like that. So if I'm sorry, I don't give a sweet fuck if Xbox just says, well, we can't really let our game come over there. Well, that's just more of a preference thing as well, though, because Bethesda's catalog might not be that good for you. Oh, but but in the grand scheme of things, Bethesda actually does have a pretty decent catalog. Their biggest issue is A, actually making games that run oh. fucking well, and B, they need to actually venture out of the uh of the uh the universe that they're kinda that they stay in, like with Fallout and things of that sort. Granted, Rage is a pretty okay game. It has never really fully piqued my interest. And also they have uh if I'm not mistaken, they also do the what's what's that what's that shit? The the Nazi killing game. Uh I know what you're talking about. Wolfenstein. I get yeah, Wolfenstein. They do that too. And those games that's have us have a core fa- have a core fan base as well. So they continue to at least experiment with other things of that sort. This could be a good uh, a good uh, thing for them. As long as they don't, they get out comfort this zone. This benefits Xbox more than it benefits Bethesda. The reason being is because Xbox wants their catalog. But what I'm saying is Bethesda has a really good catalog. You got the Evil Within. You got the Wolfenstein. You got the Dishonored. You got all that shit. But it's not enough to make me as a competitor feel any type of way because you're not putting them games over here because I don't care. But that's I, I I do not I do not trust Bethesda enough and I damn sure don't trust Xbox enough. I trust Xbox more than trust each them. other. I don't trust them enough to put out consistent fire on your cons on that console. I don't. Well, that's a personal oh, no. thing as well, though, because to me, but this only because this this only the last anger them niggas have dropped. But to me, the but anger. but this thing is a consistent basis of what I've always been saying. What we've always had a general consensus of: Xbox is the best bang for your budget console, and by them actually having this type of exclusivity with Bethesda and shit like that, it's, it's only going to make it better for them. I'm looking at this from a consumer standpoint, and this shit is actually really good. Because if, I, they, if, if, if that's not what we're talking about. No, that's what I'm talking about. I don't really give a flying fuck about PlayStation or or Xbox. I have a fucking PC. I get all the shit free. But but, but that's that's what the conversation was about. Xbox not. No, this game. conversation started out about if what what do you consider a console seller? Because I was saying I don't think no. even the even reason Sony, I don't think that they have a lot of games that are coming out that you would consider console sellers because. Uh, if it moves like 200 consoles, that's not a console server. I'm fucking no, Madden does no, that. There's no game, nigga. There is no game that comes that is p- moving 200. The last game that moved numbers like that was NBA Live. That shit moved 8,000 shits. No, I'm no, I'm talking about 200 consoles, not not game sales. I'm what about cons- the living fuck? J- okay, like but, no, like. like a, I'm talking about a game that moves enough console to where like, yo, like. The only game that Bethesda has recently that I think would make a nigga buy, and it, it like to make them buy a console, whether it's Xbox or not, is Doom Eternal. And I don't even think Doom Eternal was moving, I don't think they would move shits like that. Like if Doom Eternal was a Xbox, a Xbox Series X release, I feel, I feel like people would buy it for that yeah. game because it's not a bad game. No, it's not the bad game, but that's what I'm saying. Like, Bethesda does not put out those level. Like the last time, like really, like when's the last time the niggas put out a a game where you just like, yo, shot niggas really in your bag with this one. 
Like they're continuously building on older games. Like until Bethesda really just start, like this Starfield game, if this Starfield game come out in this ass, Bethesda, at what point do you say we got to do something better? Cause we out here fucking it up. We out, yo, Bethesda, you know who Bethesda is? Bethesda is the 2008 um, fucking Celtic. That's who Bethesda is. Them niggas is still living off of Fallout. Them niggas is still living off Elder Scrolls and Skyrim and all that. That's what them niggas is living off of. They not living off nothing new that come out. Nothing. Because everything they come out with is either glitchy, don't work, or it's cool for a little bit, or it's just flat out ass. I they think don't. The best out. problem is most definitely is their optimization. Their optimization is fucking god awful. If their game, a lot of their games, if they were just optimized properly, they, I, I would be like, yo, they have a really big. Catalog. They have a really no. They have a really fucking good. Like there's only certain things about most of Bethesda's certain um, like Bethesda's bangers. Like it's only certain things about their bangers that they put out. That if you tweak this and tweak this. That game is great, but they don't do it. Like they don't because, because it, they get to live off of the community being like, "Well, it's a Bethesda game." Which, by know, the way, I hate that excuse. Well, I've talked. Well, yeah, we talked about that in the last know, podcast. I when, fucking hate that excuse. When you, when you put out a game and there's people that fix your game for you and they're not paid by you, you should not be a game studio. You should not. I, yo. I swear to God, I wish I was sitting at this board of meetings when they told me, when they said, we want you to pay us $7.5 billion. For these niggas, for the niggas who put out a game and then there's some random nigga on the street with Cheeto dust on his fingers and they fixing your game for you on launch? To be fair, the Xbox, they are that type of company because you have to remember Xbox has a whole bunch of indie studios that like to go very fake deep into video games, talking about depression and shit. No, like, oh. but what other company, even indie studios, do you know where them niggas put out a game and niggas is ready because they know they got to fix it for you? Like, legitimately, Man. I had to download a, uh, a mod for uh, my uh, Fallout to get it to run at a smooth 60. Dog, like, like, that is like, out, that is like the out, biggest issue. Right, you talking yeah. about Fallout Four, right, Luke? Of course I am. That's my favorite one. So Fallout Four has been out since what, 2015? Yo, it's been out for damn near, uh, damn near five years. It'll be five years next year, the day to place the Xbox releases, and your game still does not run correctly yet you still want to release shit for it yet you still want people to play it you still let mods get on it but you can't fix your game to run at a current 60 on pc fuck you that shit on xbox fuck you shit for any company that is trash like that i'm not scared fuck y'all Make a better game. Let's try that. They just gotta. Oh my. Okay, connection interrupted. This is great. Their servers are going to shit right now on Black Ops. Y'all seen the shit live. Like it's I said, but that's the biggest shit is just optimizing their game because we say this shit every fucking year. Literally, every year. Every single what? year. And the biggest thing that pisses me off consistently is just the whole, oh, what's a Bethesda game? That should not be the. That, that should not be your consensus. Like, there's a lot of times where. Before Fall of Sleep 76, when the community finally started, you know, actually have a backbone. Um, there's a lot of the games where it's like, yo, if they would have just put their foot down, something might have happened. Like, yo, no, nah, this is not cool. <laughs> but most of the community just says, well, it's a Bethesda game. What you going to do about it? And I'm sorry, yo. you're not going to get invited nowhere with that mentality. You're not going to, you know, get the game earlier with that mentality. You're not going to get a better game with that bullshit ass, oh, well, it's a Bethesda game mentality. Like, they are just as bad as the 2K niggas. Like, I mean, if y'all just wouldn't cuss at the developers, maybe, you know, they would. Yo, who the fuck says that? Uh, Ronnie definitely told TBH if he wasn't cussing, he might have listened. Uh... Who was that nigga I used to lob mob? Definitely was telling Agent if he didn't cuss as much in his videos, devs might invite him out somewhere. 
N- niggas is definitely out. There's definitely a lot of niggas out there. Well, if y'all would just be more respectable to the devs, you know, maybe they would listen. Nigga, I tried being respectful. They didn't Imagine, listen. Bro. Like, can we not, like, yo, the 2K community did not become this toxic until, like, late 2K16, 2K17. Nah, that's part of 15, because that's when all the kids started getting on. No, and, uh, like, it wasn't and as bad. No, it wasn't as bad. Like, I'm talking about, oh, like, the shit. Way- Nah, two K nah, Rambo, Rambo, hey Rambo. But well, there's one thing, stimulus package. I re- nah. Why do I remember that? Nah. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Why do I remember that? Because it was, that? In, it was in 15 and 16. I'm gonna fuck you talking about. The stimulus package glitch. You could people found a way to where you could glitch the game, the my career sliders, where you could put everything on a honey. Oh, yep. Because I did you that. You could miss. I did that on 16. I'm not gonna lie. To start the game off, I did that. Cause it still worked. I remember See, that. They was doing, they was doing shit like that. They had the seven foot one point guards. Oh, hold on. But what's the issue with the stimulus, right? Like, how is that even valid? Because I'm not gonna lie to you. What? I was playing against everybody. Was five fucking seven. What? What? Hey. Huh? What did you say? I was playing against everybody and they were five seven. Two K ain't patched that shit. Wonder why? Because it's an offline mode and they don't fucking care. Two K don't patch the bullshit unless it actually affects their money. Yep. Unless it affects their money, two K really don't care. So like that stimulus package, like yeah, like no. But I'm talking about toxic as in the community is getting online and they are fucking slandering you. You yeah. wasn't listening when we was being nice. So now we own your ass. Slander is one thing. I was 15, 15 because I was definitely playing with them sweats on there. I definitely got cussed out for missing my first shot. Slander is one thing. But when you're actually like doing like the death threat shit, that's when that shit becomes corny. Death threat shit? No, you niggas is weird. Niggas that sent death threats to old girl's house that was in the middle of us too. Yo, niggas was sending death threats to Danny Green and his wife. Like, yeah, that shit's corny. You get slandered. That's one thing. You get the slander work. Once you start, like, going way out of pocket, it's like, all right, nigga, like. Yeah, dudes really be out here. I got to send you a death threat based off a bunch of ones and zeros. Like, if you don't shut the fuck up. I still remember when a uh, nigga made a song, song called Fuck Steph Curry and everybody thought it was funny. And I listened and this nigga started talking about Riley. I was like, all right. All right, nigga, we ain't gonna bring the baby in this. I'll fight you myself. <laughs> hey, I'll fight you for stuff, nigga. See me. <laughs> you ain't gonna talk about that little girl like that. They call that little girl a bitch. I was like, all right, nigga, so uh, you gonna have to see me. But like, yo, like, <laughs> Bethesda, man. If they get the optimization together, because it really ain't even there, so if they just start optimizing games and quit being lazy, sex and show. That. You're really saying that's the only yo, know, Biggie. Mm-hmm. You Notice know because you was there. But that's the. I'm not cutting you no slack. Want to know why? But that's the. You came to a fucking conference and said we yeah. got dragons. The issue is Bethesda. Bethesda thought they were big. That was Bethesda thinking they were bigger than they actually were, because. Usually, when there's a conference, it's not a just a single gaming company. Hey, them niggas it's got usually, moved. That I, shit was it's usually great. like Nintendo, PlayStation, or Xbox, and they're showing mad games. But when you have a specific gaming company and they can only work on a set number of games in a single cycle, and they also have to keep people on certain games so that they can keep updating it and patching the game, it. It's you were not supposed to be having a press conference like that. <laughs> Yo, like uh, y- y'all could have been a part of like Xbox's press conference. The way the way or he announced it was like when Khan announced Blackout. Yeah, it was like when they announced that you could swim. Never forget. Nah, that. dog. It, it's nah, like when CK announced. Yeah, we got blocking in the game. Like they ain't take it out just to bring it back. Like, nah, nah, that ain't as bad. Nah, and I'm just talking about the way he said it. Like, yo, remember when they announced the Switch? Yeah? No. no, they announced Splatoon. He says, like, 
Spot two on two. Hey, hey, nah. hey. That's how came out with the dragon, Joe. We got dragons. Bro, they <laughs> announced dragons and they got boo. Oh. Hey, wasn't, hey, wait, wasn't it Devil May Cry that did the mobile game and thought niggas was gonna be hyped for it? Yep. No, no, no. It, no, they showed a they showed an Elder Scrolls game and it was a mobile game. And I don't. I like, thought it was. I thought there was one for Devil May Cry, whatever as well. I don't. Because I remember they did uh, one. Because I remember they got booed and they was like, "What? Don't y'all have phones, nigga? That's not the point." <laughs> I mean, no. The worst, the worst offender was Ubisoft. The, the Ubisoft is the worst offender because they showed us a uh, Splinter Cell, and people been asking for that game forever, just for it to be on mobile. mobile. Yeah, the best thing that we got for for him thus far is uh, he's about to be on is him him being on Siege. Mm -hmm. I'm done. I'm done talking shit about you. Like, just optimize your fucking games. You make good games. They're just never fucking optimized. No, no, but that's the. <laughs> don't let them niggas tell you all you need to do is make better, do better with your optimization. No, but that's the. You got a lot of shit to clean the fuck up because your shit is ass. This coming from a nigga that plays multiple Bethesda games. So anybody that tries to come in this chat and say you don't play these fucking games, lick my balls, bitch. I'll buy damn near most of them. But that's you got a lot of shit to fix. I cannot lie. The reason, the reason why we're saying optimization is just for the fact of a lot of that stuff is optimization issues, like him not being able well, to run the game at sixty. No, it's not. A lot of it is not just optimization. No, a, a lot, lot of it. Yeah, a lot of it does get fixed of, with optimization. Play, there are certain play, games, but they, they just play, have mad glitches. A lot of their gameplay is bad. Like Prey, I played Prey when Prey first came out. Prey was not. Prey was. Crazy gameplay, bad. Nothing about that game interested me. I'll be honest. I bought the shit simply because it just it just looked like something that was gonna be cool. And then I find out I was chasing around a big ass blob. You know how mad I was. Yeah, I was I was good off of prey, but a lot of their shit literally just needs just to be fucking optimized. Anything else, as long as the game is actually an original IP, they'll be fine. Like, sure. but the stuff that you're talking about that needs to be optimized is the shit that they're coming that that they already came out with. That's an issue. Your games that you already come out with that have been out for four or five plus years, and you have not fixed those. And then on top of that, the games that you come out with later, the the gameplay sucks. Some some of y'all storylines is terrible. Like Bethesda, man. Come on, come on, man. Come on, man. I play more. I play enough of your games that I know it ain't just. I know it ain't just optimization. Y'all, y'all got like hire yo know, hire more devs. I don't think hiring more devs is gonna do anything about that because that's not that's not a we need more devs. That <laughs> I was gonna say that ain't that ain't they ain't got enough people. That's I ain't want to do it. Hire and I, think they move, I think they move on from games too fast as well. Because like, like, like games like, put them out and then they can't Yo, y'all like Bethesda? Y'all like putting out a bunch of weird shit and Xbox? Y'all out here trying to build Megatron with the fucking um with all these game devs and shit? Go get Hideo Kojima. Well, the Go thing is, they definitely could be suffering from the issue of being too ambitious as well. Because yeah. if you look at a lot of their games, they definitely have, like, potential, and you can definitely see where they're going. But the problem is, they just, like, wanna, they, they just want to get they just want to get that shit put out, and then they just put out, like, a dud, or they put out something that's mid, which could have been very well good. Because, I mean, while I do love Fallout 4, it's one of my favorite Fallouts. The story is, it could have been a lot better because I never really felt like any of my choices necessarily mattered for the most part. Like, I mean, that's that's a lot of games these days. Like, you, you, I, my, I, one thing that people always say is we want a game where our, our choices actually fuck them. I want to know, like, I, I, I know that for, I, at least for Outer Worlds or whatever, what I've seen mm -hmm. is that your choices do matter the most because yeah, she will actually like change, which is nice. But I mean, like in a game like Fallout, I feel like it, it not even feel it should matter a little bit more because I mean, I'm basically designing this entire world around me, right? Uh, mm -hmm. 
like games like that it, it should make a difference and with these stories i shouldn't be able to basically figure out what's going to happen like two three minutes into the game like a lot of the stories like i've like, never played your game and i can just be like oh yeah this is definitely gonna happen and it happens that's an issue yeah like i don't need the meaning of life but make it somewhat interesting and i mean if you are gonna tell a basic story you can tell a basic story with interesting characters which is another thing fun. that which is another thing that like they they suffer from but hopefully in this next generation they figure the fuck out but that's another thing because i mean there's only like a handful of characters in like each but that's a game that i played mm-hmm. where they're interesting and like for all you people that think that I'm out here just slaying the Bethesda, I really like Bethesda, dog. Like I Bethesda really been on bullshit recently though. I really like Bethesda because I believe that the games that they come in with, just like what Wu said, the concept is great. Your execution is like Roy Hibbert in the clutch. It's buns. That's just Roy Hibbert. What about New Vegas? What do you think about that game? I faintly remember New Vegas because I played it when it first came out when I was barely getting into like a lot of like single player s games. And I mean single player like that level of like detail. I wasn't I wasn't I don't remember too much about it. I really got into three I think New Vegas. I played a couple hours and eh. and then I New Vegas was the first one out of the land, wasn't it? Nah, it went three Vegas. I never it went three Vegas and then uh, four, and I liked. And again, I like, I like New Vegas a wee bit. I just never fully got into it because I wasn't I like mentally, ma- I wasn't <laughs> mentally mature for that for that game at the time. I'll be honest with you. Like I was, my my attention span wasn't that in depth with it, which is why I barely <laughs> liked it. <laughs> but like, uh, like Elder Scrolls got into that deep. But I mean, the problem is a lot of problems is with them with their games, whatever. It's just like this the story can just be very meh, like very hit or miss, as well as uh, like a the optimization and B. I should never feel like I played your game before. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's another thing. I should never feel like I played hey, your game you before. Tried. You try. I did. <laughs> Dog, I am oh, no. so over this. I'm so over this hit detection, dog. You seen that? Uh, yeah. But like, they could. They just need to do better. Optimization should be like number one because there's no reason why indie studios come out with better optimized games that are on a bigger scale than yours, and they fucking work. I've, optimization is definitely just something that they need to do better with. Uh, I guess like care like voice act. I don't know. I don't. Do you think they have good voice acting in their game? I'll be honest with you. When it comes to voice acting, voice acting is... I, I've yet to at least play a game and or watch a game because I've not played a Wolfenstein game because it, it just has not interested mm-hmm. me. But, I will say Wolfenstein because I watched Chase play it. The voice acting that, I did like it. Yeah, like the voice acting in most of their games, actually in almost all of their games, are good. Um, but it's I'm just... It, say, like It might be like a financial like resources thing and hopefully them now being under Xbox can kind of help that. Well, I mean, shit, you have 7.5 billion, dog. I'm on now. I'm hoping Xbox doesn't do them like they do all their other companies and like they just hire them on and then don't get do rid shit. of them next year. Close them down next year. Like, I, I don't want that. I don't think that would happen. At least with a big ass studio like the Bethesda. Yeah, and like, don't do shit when like they just put out. The same games they've been putting out for the past decade, and you don't try nothing new. Yeah, just drop some original IPs, make sure them shits actually fucking work, and you will actually be okay. If they came out, if like if Bethesda came out was actually dropping like at least once a year, <laughs> that was like really good and played well. well I think they'd be good. Go ahead and need to do. just drop some original IPs that actually fucking work that play well. You'll be okay. It does not need to be groundbreaking. It does not need to reinvent yeah. the meaning of life and gaming, and you'll be fine. Also, Xbox, do not put all your eggs in one basket. Do not just look at and think that yeah, Bethesda is the only company we need. No, go look for other actual good companies, not indie developers who make meaning of life games. I'm tired of that shit, dog. Get make some fun games like Cuphead. Miles White's back there. 
Oh, yeah, that's cool. Next time, if you want to knock, I'm live. Don't do that. Shit, Cuphead hey. actually went nuts. Cuphead, yeah, like, But that's what I'm saying. Like, something like Cuphead isn't like a meaning of life game. It was just something that was meant to be fun. It was the meaning of life. Boy. You know what I mean when I say meaning of life game. Mm-hmm. That game was that game was not shit. about like depression or nothing. Yes, it, it, had a, it had a very simple story. Oh, uh, you ain't see the struggles, boy. <laughs> he said you ain't know my stride face ass. I hate this nigga sometimes. I swear to God, I do. But, but uh, something that's just really fun. Something that I don't have to sit there and be depressed while playing the game. Yeah. It's not difficult. And if you're going to make something with a deep storyline, please make sure every time you give me a cutscene, it matters so I don't feel like I have to skip it. Let me climb ladders, man. That That's another thing. That ain't never happening. That ain't never happening. That's just too advanced, man, man. Like foot planning. Niggas, niggas start climbing the ladder, then they go into a loading screen. Hey, man. You definitely can't climb ladders. I did not realize that until I watched that video about it. I was like, yeah, you dead ass never climb fucking ladders, yo. No. And it's so hilarious because, like, I watched it and I was like, am I really mad about this? And I was like, I'm really not, but it's just so weird. Like, it's, it's just something where it's like, why is this an issue that you can't let us climb ladders? It's a game in 2015. And you can't climb ladders. It's not in your engine to climb ladders. How hard was it to put? And then it's like that is another thing, though. That's another thing that we didn't touch on, though. That fucking engine, dog. They've been using that same engine forever. So that could be the that could be another big issue. Just make a new, just try to work on a new engine. I'm hoping Xbox tries to push that on them, but I also don't see them necessarily. Doing that. I don't think they would. I would hope they would. Because I don't even play Bethesda games, but I want to see them make a game where it's like, I really want to play a Bethesda game. As somebody who does, yeah, they need to work on that engine because you could tell it's the same engine. And I'm not even like a big engine nerd like that where I'm like, oh, yeah, this engine needs yeah, to be but whenever, that, that, that. I will but, say like when I look at like the whatever the Elder Scrolls game that came out on Xbox 360 was, and Skyrim. I look at Fallout 4, them shits look like they run on the same shit. They do. They definitely do. They just update is updated or upgraded, but they're not changing anything about it. That's why you have a lot of the same animations, it's the same like grainy type look. Same issues. Yeah. I feel like Fallout, not Fallout. Bethesda, I feel like Bethesda should not be, and even though it's not like, I feel like Bethesda or anything that work comes through Bethesda should not be the main studio on a, on a game. And when I say by that, because Bethesda, and there's no doubt about it. There is no doubt about it because in every Bethesda game is like this. When it be, when it comes to making vast worlds, interactive or not, Bethesda is the best at doing if Bethesda was to team up with somebody like Rockstar, because you know how everybody was saying that you would have control of the entire United States type shit? Mm -hmm. At one point, if there was going to be a company that did that to make that happen, Bethesda would have to be a part of it. That would be a piece of shit. That would be a PC exclusive like a motherfucker. <laughs> it would have to be. But what I'm, what I'm saying is like, Bethesda should not be, but Bethesda can't take me to the promised land. But if you put Bethesda with LeBron James or Kevin Durant, we might be good. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, when it comes up in worlds, Rockstar and Bethesda definitely do do it the best because they, they like, we talked about this before, where we don't like playing open world games where the world is dead. Like Wildlands, mm -hmm. Breakpoint, right. name a Ubisoft game. Uh, like name a Ubisoft game <laughs> side to watch out to because surprisingly that game is very lively. But, but like, <laughs> yeah, dog. Or, like we don't like. I don't like walking down the street and like there's nothing going. Yeah, like nothing going. Like there's nobody walking. There's no nothing. Like but that's the <laughs> like in Fallout or whatever, dog. You'll get attacked by. A, yeah, you'll get attacked by a mole rat. Supermoons will be going at it like with the Brotherhood at random. Like stuff like that yeah. happens. GTA. Yeah, 
guy walking down the alleyway and watch the <laughs> like dog in GTA or whatever, dog. Like, uh, e here's the thing though. Even for as old as San Andres is, my nigga, we all remember oh, okay. gang fights would happen at random. At random. Even Vice City. Hell, three, actually. Because, like, yo, the, the Haitians? Yo, the Haitians was pulling up on you. <laughs> yo, you walk through a whole thing, the Haitians just come out of nowhere. Hell, the triads definitely didn't like the, the <laughs> Italian family either, dog. Yeah, so, so it's like... They're able to do that, dog, and y'all struggling with basic shit with these newer. Con all right, all right, whatever. You got it. I just, I just really thought about that shit. I just, I just remember, even yesterday, I was playing Watch Dogs. He was driving on the highway randomly. It said the five eighties is having a war with the, with the Tesco. I'm like, damn, y'all just having a full on gang war under the bridge. It's crazy. Dog. Driving by here in the chopper let go and shit. Like dog, like if, you, if there ever is going to be a damn game that's that ambitious to where it's that open of a world, it has to be done by both Rockstar and Bethesda. Only thing is, I want Rockstar to be worried about the optimization portion of it. Uh, Bethesda gets to design the world, but Rockstar actually makes it. Hey, ideas, Bethesda can do ideas. Ideas like a motherfucker. Yeah, because that's be happening. Because they make great open worlds. That's the thing. They make those. They, that's like the one thing I will give them. They make great worlds that you'd like to be a part in. Like I enjoy Skyrim because I enjoy that world. I enjoy Fallout because I enjoy that world. It should. Like that is always good to me. The problem is, is just the optimization portion, and I don't want to feel like I'm in that same world or whatever on this next gen console. I already know. We already know they're gonna release Elder Scrolls Six or whatever, right? But I mean, if y'all gonna have any of these new IP things like that. I don't want to feel like I've been here before. I want to be somewhere new. I like that unfamiliarity with my games because I feel like I've been there before. It, I get bored. I think it's like uh, what you were saying there. Like they get too excited when I because you can tell like a game will have like if they were to just tell you the concept, the concept sounds fire, and to them like when they come up with it, like yo, this sounds like it's gonna be like our best game yet. And they're so excited and they want to get it out. And they also probably have shareholders that are like, hey, when is it coming out? When is it coming out? When is it coming out? And so they start rushing and they don't get everything done that they really need to get done because of their anxiousness, excitement, and people breathing down their neck, most likely. Yeah. Uh, entire mixture of that, it makes a game that could have been good, could have been fired, but you rushed it. You can't rush good cooking. You can't. Thanks. If it says it has to cook for two hours, I'm sorry. But if you want good food, you're going to let it cook for two yeah, hours. I remember when you were younger and you thought because you turned the oven up and you cook fast. That shit don't work. <laughs> I definitely thought that when I was younger, too. That shit don't work. Thought, nah, when you was on the stove, you thought putting that bitch on high made everything cook in like five minutes? Nope. <laughs> Hey, I, I, lot I remember when I first started cooking burgers, I did that dumb shit, and I was like, yeah, the burger's done, and I bit into it. I was like, that burger was done. <laughs> Yo, I realized I found out in college, the fastest way to cook a burger mm -hmm. is put that oven on boil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that motherfucker. <laughs> <my fuck>. Yo. <laughs> you eat that hole in there too long. Oh, it's going to be a little hockey puck. <laughs> That's how my dad cooks the burgers. He broils them in the oven. Hey yo, that joint is instant, dog. But oh. up, yo, your kitchen be smelling like buns after yo. Oh. We we gonna get off the topic of good cooking because we could just sit here and talk about food all day. No so cap. next topic, will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my next topic, uh, this is just like a little short, like a little bite or whatever that I thought was kind of funny. Um, Fall Guys, the game that kind of like took like this entire enjoyment of gaming shit by storm and then somehow got fucked over because dudes is weirdos. Uh, they're, they're actually working on a season two of the game. Yeah, so uh, they're working on a second game. Nah, they, they stopped working on a second game because the first, no, that was Among Us. That was Among Us that did that. Yeah, that was that was among us, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yo, y'all man just took off and you are talking about making a second game? Yeah, damn. <laughs> yeah, uh Fall Guys is getting a second season. It's gonna add new maps, new game modes, things of that sort. Of course they're gonna have new cosmetics, so whatever floats your boat. I mean, 
I enjoy yeah. stuff. Yeah, I'm about to say I enjoy stuff like this only because I think that it's adorable. I've always thought that game was cute. I never got into it because I knew a game like that would piss me off. Because, yeah, <laughs> yeah because how my ass at a children's game? Somebody help me. I, yeah, that's what it would be. This nigga over here getting pulled by a random nigga who don't want me to get to the finish line. Yeah, this nigga cutting them out, calling him everything that he can. Yeah, like I thought, I thought it was great. Like I definitely liked the game. I definitely like uh, what I've seen from like the community as far as like the Fall Guys shit goes. Grant, there are the weirdos who have to hack a children's game to get good at it. I mean, if you do that, you you obviously you next. You're hacking children's games, dog. You need you need Jesus. Yeah, but that's a you Jesus moment. It really is. I thought it was probably, I thought it was great though. Um, staying on the fun game topic or whatever. Uh, Among Us, Biggie actually brought it up before I actually could. Dick, hate you. Um. I, I thought it was I thought it was Fall Guys, man. I'm just fucking with you. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Among Us. Uh, so the game ap- apparently took off like more than the devs were actually expecting. So much so that they actually canceled the second one that they were going to make, and they're basically just going to keep working on what they got right now. Uh, you don't know what Among Us is? It's a game that you probably have seen all type of memes and TikToks about. I've actually played it on my phone a couple times, and I hate it. I hate this game. And I hate thinking about it. Dog, I hate the game only because I have it on my mobile phone, so I can't like text and like say where I'm at fast mm-hmm. enough. Cause I don't know all the maps and shit yet. So every time yeah. I'm like the imposter, I'll kill somebody, be halfway across the map, and then all of a sudden, hey yo, whatever color I am, which is nine times out of ten is red. Red sucks. I'm like, man, suck beef. See, that's your problem. You picking red. You don't know the mean. Red is always sus. Man, fuck y'all. Know what I'm saying? But yeah, so I I hate the game, and I mean that. Because I enjoy it. Like, whenever I do play, like, me and, my old, me and my old lady play it a little bit, and I ain't gonna hold you. I murdered a fuck out of her. It's like my one way of getting, like, all my aggression out. Um, yeah. I, I definitely recommend this game for couples. Definitely that recommend it. be in a different room. Yeah. yeah. Oh, every time I see her motherfucking ass, I even told her, like, if I'm ever the imposter, I'm gonna kill the shit out of you. And she was like, what? And I was all like, I am so serious. And I, when I was the imposter, killed the shit out of her. She's like, why would you do that? And I'm like, because I love you. Ratio. <laughs> oh, 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 de- big ratio. But yeah, so that's that's what's going on in them streets. Uh, another update that dropped right now is uh, the Ghost of Shima update. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Legends joint, where it's essentially a two player co op story, and uh, it's, it's two player co op story, and then it's a uh, four player uh, survival, where you can mm-hmm. play as the Ronin. You can play as a Ronin, a Hunter, or and or an Assassin. They all have their own special abilities and equipment, things of that sort. Uh, like I said earlier, I can't play because my fucking PS4 got bricked thanks to Sony, so there's that. Uh, but yeah, so go ahead and get on that if you want to, if you need to. I just Seems like it'll be cool. Someone try it out, let us know. I mean, I would, but you know. Yeah, yeah that's, Sony told you you ain't playing no more uh, games, man. That's okay. I got a PC. <laughs> Hey, I don't have to play these exclusives. I really don't. I'm getting a PS5 anyway. I will live. Hey, I do want to play Spider-Man now. I'm not going to lie. Oh, facts. Welcome to PC. Rob, I've been over here, baby. We've had PCs for a minute. 2016. Yeah. It's just most of the people that we play with got consoles. But uh, I think there was one more. Oh yeah, just to just go ahead and just breeze past this because we have to talk about this damn game almost every fucking podcast. Um, yes, sir. Two K dropped another trailer for next gen and things of that sort. If y'all are into that, uh, Biggie's been talking about all the capping they've been doing. So I'm gonna let Biggie have fun with this one. Um, Biggie, go ahead, brother. Mike Wang, you got saved from being capper of the year. Because Sony pulled that bullshit with <laughs> with the party chat, <laughs> but if that never happened, it was looking like you was gonna win Capper of the Year, dog, and I was gonna hand you the award expeditiously on December thirty first. <laughs> and uh, so this article, the way it started out, the way this article started out, you know, you know it's supposed to like let you know, hey, we like explain what's going on with the game, explain what's different. The first thing that they were talking about was Dribble. Read through the entire thing. Rambo read through it too, because he, he was like, I need to read it myself. I I literally said, all this shit says for dribbling is, hey, dribbling different. Trust me. Don't tell you how. Just say, hey, dribbling different. It was like, all right. 
They said there was no canned animations. They showed D'Angelo Russell dunking on Malcolm Brogdon, the nigga that dunked on LeBron. Yeah, I. Right. <laughs> they they said that you don't get sucked in the screens anymore. Me and Rambo both watched the clip where the nigga ran into the screen, but the guy was going the opposite direction. Didn't even do a move going to the left. We also saw, you know, when you run into somebody and they give you that pushback animation as a point guard? Yep. Yeah, it's all that. No canned animations, though. Or less canned animations, though. And um, them alley you posters? Definitely canned animations. But less canned animations, though. They said def- they said that they improved defense. And what did they show us? All they did was show us. <laughs> all they did was show us uh, Jimmy Butler pushed up on. Uh, who was it? I don't remember who he's pushed up on. Tobias Harris. They showed Jimmy Butler pushed up on Tobias Deb- Harris off ball. That's all they showed us on defense. How am I supposed to know defense is better off of that? And my and the reason why I've been saying that. This game ain't going to be as good as I, even I thought it was going to be because I have low expectations from 2K at this point. But God damn, Rambo thought I was tripping when that first trailer came out. Remember? And the jokes came out about that same assistant coach being in there. I saw that and I saw they showed no new, because you know, 2K loves Sweet. showing they new animations. No, like when they bring out that trailer, they love showing they new animations. Cause they do it every time they add new animations it's in the first trailer they show you they love showing you that new gameplay animation like when uh when 2k14 came out and they showed you yeah you can get chased down blocks on dunks now and they was showing you all like how it would look when lebron did it on Egadala and shit and they they love showing you that but that trailer came out and there was nothing new in it the game just looked better but before that, you remember Mike Wang, reason why he probably going to get cap of the year, said this game was going to be built from the ground up. It's going to be a completely different experience from current gen. As of right now, we've gotten two blogs. Ain't shit different about this game yet. The, the most different thing that they did is you can change the arc of your shot. That is the most different thing they've done. They, you can change the arc of your shot and you can control how fast you dribble. Ooh, innovation. Did he have to do that? Yeah. This game's going to be a completely different experience, dog. I'm sorry. I hate when companies like, just tell me the truth, dog. You could have just been like, hey, look, this is pretty much just going to be a port over with better graphics. Because as of right now, that's what it's looking like. I expect there to be a new neighborhood because they claim that it's not the neighborhood anymore. And if they say it's not the neighborhood, they're like, yeah, it's not the neighborhood anymore. It's a 2K beach. And it's still in next gen. Nigga. My God, the level <laughs> of how weak I'm going to be. You no, don't understand. It's pretty much gonna, you have to we have to remember it like this. Niggas have been trying to get out of it. The, they gave us the same parts from 2K 16 to 17. They gave us that bland ass neighborhood in 18. From 19 all the way to the end of 20, we had the same neighborhood. And you're telling me we get the next gen and we get the same neighborhood as current gen. I ain't if gonna that happens, dog, niggas is not playing 2K again, dog. It'll be another 2K18, I promise you. You don't understand how weak I would be, dog. If they gave us. If they gave us the exact, the exact same beach, the exact same that we had a current gen. Hey, just better graphics. I would, <laughs> I would fall out my chair. I would fall out my chair. I wouldn't even be mad. I would just be in tears. That is the only thing I'll give them. I don't think they would cap that bad because if they cap that bad, dog, it's over. Niggas is not playing that first, two, that first 2K to come out on next year. Niggas is not playing it. Hey, niggas will find other games to play. They showed that we will not play 2K. It's very simple. Hey, niggas went to Fortnite with the quickness, dog. No, uh, Fortnite came out and they was like, "Nigga, I don't have to play your game." And if you start off this current generation, I mean, this upcoming generation, with the, even though I'm talking about a lot of the games that Sony has, I wouldn't consider a lot that they have coming out in the next year. I wouldn't consider a lot of them console sellers. 
They still have games. If you're already getting the PS5, nigga, I don't have to play 2K. No. They have a they have a lot of I could play this. Bro, I'm especially with Spider-Man though. Bro, I will be a web slinger. Fuck with me. They got Spider-Man and then they got other games coming out later in the year and then isn't God of War the new one coming out next? It's going to be well? it's going to be on this gen, yeah. No. Niggas will not play 2K. Do not tempt them to not do it again. Last time y'all thought that we was going to play 2K, y'all had to put out a uh, survey talking about why'd you start playing our game? They hit us with the south hey, part. Hey, We're, hey, sorry. Hey, We're sorry. We're sorry. Hey, woo. Since I know a certain someone ain't following your stream, hit you with the you don't love me no more. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, hey. Hey, yo. I like this toxic big, you know what I'm saying? Sensation. He said, you don't love me no more, dog. That shit, I'm not gonna lie, would have me in tears, though. Uh, but, like I said, I, I don't see them capping that hard. If they cap that hard, it would be over for them, dog. I'd fall out no my matter, chair. Like, you realize how much credibility would be lost? Because Ronnie capping, Mike Wayne capping, nigga, who am I supposed to believe besides LD2K? And now I gotta give him the side <laughs> eye now. That'd be great. <laughs> That'd be yeah. great. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't want it to happen, but I kind of do because I would love to see the reception. Oh, it would be bad. Because like, I'm sorry. As, be the group and they still gonna play 2K. As somebody who plays <laughs> a, literally a multitude of games, like that doesn't affect me in the slightest. I just want to see the world burn in that regard because I would definitely get a good laugh. I would get a good laugh. Like a real good one. Like, there's obviously still going to be niggas that play that 2K if it was like that. Like, if they pretty much copied and pasted and said, yeah, better graphics, whole new experience, right? It, still niggas are going to play it because niggas want to play 2K that badly. Yeah. yeah. I might fucking around to be one of them niggas because I definitely still play 2K18. Hated did. every minute of it, but I was fucking addicted. <laughs> <laughs> he said I was a crackhead. I'm, I'm sorry. Lie. Uh, it was definitely crackhead week in the year for me, dog. Cause, and that was it. That was the year I got my job too. So I wasn't on it that much. But every time I'd get on, I'd want to play 2K. You better than me, brother. Oh my god. But yeah, they they claim it's a different. They're not doing the neighborhood. I want to see what they're gonna do with that. Cause that could be cool. That could be the saving grace. If everything else is the same for the most part. They do little gameplay changes, and they have like a whole new like neighborhood modes, like neighbor like the special events. And shit. That could be a saving thing for that game. It could. It could be. But as of right now, gameplay wise, Mike Wang is capper of the year. I ain't gonna lie. I did like seeing the uh, the poster animations for Alley Oops. I did like yeah. that, but I was able to notice like that was like an animation. Yeah, I'm gonna say ain't nobody just gonna walk into getting posted, dog. Cause, cause like I would understand like it was like a bump, like you kind of got bumped out the way, but the way yeah. that he fell, I was like that doesn't, it's not like it's it would have been better, like a better example of like that extreme of like mm -hmm. a poster would have been like the Blake Griffin one. Yeah. That would have been a better example. But you over here showing me something where you're kind of getting dunked by and both of y'all falling, I have a hard time believing that. No, it definitely made him slide over into that dunk. Oh, yeah. We, we went back and watched it. He de it definitely made him go over into getting dunked on. Like, it wasn't a slide. He stepped over there. So, you yeah. can't really, so I can't really tell if he stepped over and was trying to go up. And, of course, obviously, it's the CPU. So, it's not a human input of him trying to play defense. But that nigga stepped over there. Before we even get mad about it, I don't even know. Will. Oh, I've okay. I've seen it too. Okay. <laughs> I've seen it too. I don't even know, dog. What are we talking about? Uh, Woo had his sniper. He literally stopped everything he was doing, was making sure he was aimed in on the nigga's shot, and it said he missed. I'm like, I don't even know, Woo. Don't, I don't even know what to tell you. And, but the crazy thing is, like, the ones I don't expect to get, I'm hitting. Mm -hmm. Like that. Yeah. But. Yeah, 2K out here capping. I mean, it don't surprise me none. I'm going to play it and then probably put it down because I'm not – like, I want – the problem is the reason why I want to try to attempt to remain optimistic about this 2K is because 
I want to know what it was like to be on 2K14 next gen, essentially. Mm -hmm. Where it was a whole different. Yeah, different I, I want to know. But as but as time went on, I've been playing 2K more. You know, been a content creator since third. I bro, it's like. This is you just see like, why all the UK content creators moved to IRL shit after a while. Mm -hmm. Even 2K14, 2K14 still has some of the... Oh, yeah, the anim it still had a lot of the same animations, but everything else about the game was pretty much a new experience. Yeah, and I think that I think that is what we're going to get for the most part out of this. Like, there's going to be there, there are going to be different... Like, well, here's here's you know, my thing. If they would have just, if they would have just made, if they would have just shut up, didn't say nothing. If Mike Wayne didn't say a damn oh, thing. Oh, let me put my cape on for a second. When Mike Wayne initially said that, though, he was only talking about the my career, the my career part. He was never, he never, he never once said that. Him never said that about the gameplay was going to be rebuilt. He said that he when they were because when they asked, they were talking about. Why doesn't your my player transfer to oh, next year? Yeah. And what Mike Wayne said was, it's a completely different experience. He was never talking about gameplay. He, he him never said it was a completely different experience as far as gameplay. He was strictly talking about my career. He was talking about the players. He never said that about gameplay. So I'll but, put my cape on for that one because I, I But my question it. to that would be how is it going to be a completely different experience? Say you're a dribbler. I, I, I'm he said it's be a completely different different pie charts. There's supposedly different builds, different badges. Cause I told you from jump, I already seen some of the new badges. Mm -hmm. They got different badges in that game. So like I get why your player wouldn't transfer over because you wouldn't be able to have access to new stuff. If you already got a player with pre-existing shit, it don't make sense. They're, they're, they're trying to get that to cross over would be a pain in the ass and nobody wants to fucking do it. So that I can understand why he would say it is a completely different experience. Because there, there's, there's definitely, as far as the customization of your my player, I'm pretty sure that as far as your badges, the play style, shit like that is going to be completely different or at least enhanced more on next gen than it is on current gen. Him, he's never said that about gameplay. I'm sorry. So I'll put the cape on for that one. But them niggas is definitely wilding in that article. Rambo, you seen it? Them niggas said dribbling different, trust me. Well, <laughs> that's all they said. They did say some stuff, like they said some other stuff once you like actually read, like when you read it, read it. But like, they um, didn't really it said like yeah we got some of the new anime it said we have some of the same animation like the they keep in the same they kept the, the size the, up ways the size of shit are still the, kind of the same but like they said some of the stuff's the same but then they was like yeah it's different though it's the same but different trust me but yeah y'all 2k i'm bugging can i lie and call of duty you bugging too because this beta has been downloaded i mean has been loading on this loading screen forever and it ain't started yet. I'm finna cut y'all out. Man. Call of Duty said, yeah, we're gonna add Amos to snipers. They heard the reactions like, oh, oh. Hey, we was just kidding. <laughs> it was a prank, it was a prank, I promise. I promise we was joking. Y'all still gonna buy our game? I just wanna play this fire, I just wanna play fire team. I wanna see what that like. Well, I don't want to see what their Warzone map is like. Since Aside from that, sure. uh, for all my MK fans, uh, Combat Pack 2 has been uh, revealed. They're adding uh, Rambo, Rain, and Melina. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Big bag secure. You know what I mean? Hush your lips. What? Get this nigga <laughs> out of here, dog. What? It's me, man. I'm saying. But I mean. Uh, for those who are interested in that, I mean, enjoy. I'll be honest with you, like, I want to get into Mortal Kombat, but I just can't. I can't. <laughs> like, if there was ever a game for me to get into, it would have been MKX because it was like more combo heavy. 
But like this game, while it does obviously have combos, before anybody tries to say something, it just seems way too spacious and um and projectile heavy for my liking. Like almost every character in that game has like a ridiculous projectile. I mean they got so many people with guns on that fucking game now. I'm good. I am good. I don't need it. I don't need a reason to, to punch my monitor. <laughs> like, it, like, and the thing is though, which is another thing which I thought was interesting. Uh, there's still like MKX tournaments going on. Like, I still get like notified like on like my YouTube feed and shit like that. Like, they're mm -hmm. still like doing Mortal Kombat X tournaments, which, oh, yeah, for sure. Which to me, I don't want to say it's alarming, but I mean a lot of like you know my sweatier compadres uh, in the in the fighting game community shout out to my homie trey like not that big of a fan of mortal kombat 11. Like, yeah and like they knew that from jump though like a lot yeah like a lot of them are like really just like mkx like they like the movement they like everything about it and i'll be honest with you a thing that turned me off and as to why i didn't get mk11 upon release was because it seemed so much slower. And that was one thing they talked about during the, like they had like their whole like little release thing or like a uh, press release, you know, like when they're rolling out the mm -hmm. game where they were talking about uh, how they slowed the game down. I'll be honest with you, that to me did more detriment to it than anything. Cause I liked M Mortal Kombat X because like it had the run up feature, the dashing was faster and shit like that. And it was just quick, like, you gonna get this ass whooping one way or another. Like to me, MKX is like your parents is getting straight to the ass whooping. Like when you get home, and an MK11 is like they gonna talk to you about why they gonna beat your ass, and then you gotta wait till they get home for them to beat your ass, and then they tell you again why they gonna beat your ass. Trouble first, you get in trouble first. Period. When I get home, I'ma fuck you up. Now you gotta be in the rest of your classes knowing as soon as you get home, your ass getting whooped. But instead of as soon as you get home, and your mom already being there. Nah, your mom didn't even take off. So you got to wait there another two hours <laughs> waiting for your mom to get home just for her to come home and lecture you for another hour to then get your ass whooped for <laughs> two minutes. Yeah, in comparison to I'm just going to fuck you up because you know what you did. <laughs> just I, I, still respect, I still respect them more than I respect Street Fighter. Cause you remember when Street Fighter came out with their game? And the Street Fighter world? came out with all the five characters, literally. <laughs> we ain't even gonna talk about Street Fighter no. Five came out Street with five Fighter. characters, dog, and they thought Street that was okay. Fighter. Event for their game. The game was not done. It <laughs> didn't even have a story mode on it. Yeah, it wasn't done yet. Niggas was, play Niggas was paying sixty dollars for a game that was not done. Blank you ever heard of Destiny? Nah, Niggas? nope, nope. Oh, Biggie no. can't do that. Oh, no. You know why? Oh, no. Street, no, no, Street Fighter is definitely worse. Street Fighter no, is definitely no. worse. Listen, when you got on Street Fighter Five and tried to scroll down to story mode, the bitch told you coming soon. It laughed at you. It laughed at you. Said <laughs> you thought there was a story okay. here. Okay, okay, I'll give you up. <laughs> Try to tell you, nigga. Baby, 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 my, baby, my older brother likes to play Street Fighter, but he does not play it online. He bought that game. We put it on the couch, plugged into the big screen. I'm finna watch him play it. Nigga, game got done downloading. He clicked that hoe. He said, oh yeah, we're gonna be here all night. Coming soon. <laughs> Come again? Coming soon. What? <laughs> what? What? The, yeah, Street Fighter is the worst. Like, we were giving every other company shit. Oh, oh no. Oh no, Capcom, hold all of this L. Because that had to be oh, the we, worst. We don't even talk about that had to be the literal worst rollout for a game I have ever seen. We talk about games not being finished. Like, no, no that, chef, no chef, no chef, no chef, they did not. You want to know how I know? Because I remember watching it. They didn't tell people until they started sending the game out early and people were asking, where is the story mode? Then they told me that the game was not going to have a story mode. I remember 
Want to know how I remember? Because I got the video and it's saved. That that hey, that hey, that, hey, that, hey, that hey, game hey, is hey, the hey, worst. Because they had hey, they named it Street Fighter Five and released it with five characters, dog. That shit was baffling. They didn't have, have five modes though. No. No. They released. They only had it. one. They had like they two. So they could do their tournament. Yeah. They, they released it for Evo. They released it for the tournament. You know, it would, I would say it wouldn't be as bad if they let people know off rip that, but they that's what Rambo said. They told you what Rambo said. They no, they when I say off rip, I mean like when they announced, like, yeah, this game is coming out yeah, on this game. They, no, when they announced this game and was talking about this game, or like when they really started getting to like the press release for this game, no, they said nothing about it. They yeah, I'm talking about it. Hey, like, if they would have told people then, hey, if you were pl- if you're deciding to get this strictly for story mode, you might want to wait. But no, they, they, they knew what month, they were doing. It was like a month to three to three weeks. It may have been less than that. That when they told people. Now at this time, I'm not really in gaming news type shit yet. Like, I wasn't really doing that type of shit. They know what they did. So when I told my homeboy uh, what happened, he was like, yo, they said this one coming out for Apple. Oh. What? Yeah, they literally released it for Evo. Like I remember that vividly because people were pissed about it. Because it so, had released right, it right. with literally five characters only and only like maybe two game modes like two or three uh, game modes that so was it question if there's no storm mode, was there like a single player fighting mode there was like a sing- there mode? was a single player like little arcade joint but like as far as like an overall story they did not have okay. it I was, about to, I was about to ask like how were these evo niggas practicing if oh, oh, no. evo niggas is different well well that and on top of that you gotta like the the people who like play like these games competitively a mm-hmm. lot of them, not a lot, well actually yeah, a lot of them, they'll go to like an arcade or like they live in cro- close proximity or, mm-hmm. uh, if I remember correctly, for this specifically, they all had them since like they were already in Vegas, they had to basically practice like a week in advance essentially against each other. It was like okay. some weird, it was like some weird shit they had to do. I, yeah, I was thinking like, how would they practice by themselves if I there's no... Them the game early. They gave them the game... Early. They, no, they did give them the game early, but like in order for like them to actually practice, because like the online servers weren't up yet, so like they had to do like everything like locally. It was yeah, it was god awful. Like the game, like the game is barely in like a full like playable state, in my opinion. Because I mean, now they have like all the characters, they have all type of DLC and all this other bullshit. But I mean, that took literal years. The fact that you had to patch in a story. They had to patch in the story, and then they had to patch in, like, legacy characters. Imagine not having all the characters. Like, were were only those five? Wait, no, here's my real question. They only had five characters. Were those the only characters in the story? Or, like, were they releasing characters before they released the story? Those were basically the start-out characters for the game. It's basically the the basic level. No, but I'm saying, like... For when the story finally came out, did they still only have those five characters? No, they had the full roster by then. Wait, so they put out the full roster before the story? I'm pretty sure they were. If I remember, if I remember correctly, the the roster was in the very like was in the story mode of the shit or whatever, but they weren't all there at release. Yeah. So like, that's why they didn't let you play it right away because they still were working on characters. Their their game was shit. No, they just weren't ready. They, the yeah. game just wasn't ready. And they wanted to do Evo with their new game instead of pushing it back. For they everybody in the chat, you see how I'm trying to like rationalize how this happened? And this is why I hate talking to Biggie because there's no rationalization <laughs> no, with no, this type of no, shit. No, <laughs> no, I'm just like, was it like this or was it like that? But no, it was none of those. <laughs> like this. Hey. Like this. 2K puts out the game. Matter of fact, I brought this up before. 2K puts out the game. Mm-hmm. But the mock career isn't there. It's in a patch. <laughs> no, no, you brung that up for Modern Warfare <laughs> for yeah, saying that no, you have to download it. But no, hey, this would actually be something I'm like, yeah, it's like, oh yeah, you know, y'all gotta wait like two months. Dog, they play. gave us like the five characters like was Ryu, Ken, uh hey, Chun-Li. Rambo, they gave you the 2K, they gave you the 2K demo for $60. 
Yeah, pretty much. Now that I think about it, they didn't even have Blanca. No. Blanca wasn't one of the original characters on the game. He was in a patch. I mean, he was in a, uh, in a, in a DLC pack. He was in the Wait, DLC. They, they put a regular character in a DLC pack? Yes. Yeah. That's like when they, uh, what character did they do that with with Shinobi Strikers? I think Orochimaru. Orochimaru, Jiraiya, all of them were DLC. Like, nigga, these are regular characters. Yeah, but I can kind of see why you put Orochimaru. No, dog. No. Because you got to think about it. That was, that was a Boruto. That was really a Boruto game. Like, Orochimaru. No, it's a regular Orochimaru. It's DLC. Yeah, I know, but Orochimaru isn't in the Boruto like yeah, he is. not like that. So like can, he was in can, can, can we not be on offset and Cardi B's in my game right now? Um Huh? <laughs> I'm not making this shit up, dog, in my lobby right Are now. They in the same party or is offset in someone else's party. Dog, I got takeoff offset and offset. Offset and Cardi B in my game right now. This is great. Man, it's not, it's not, it's not real unless Offset's in a different party, man. It's not. Let me see her titties again. True. Um, you were wilding on his stream. He said it true, so I sound like I got to prove to me. Definitely did. Um, I hate you. I hate you. I'm back in your mouth. That's that bag of the head smack. You doing? <laughs> Your pops got you doing something stupid right before you do it. Ah! <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah. So yeah, Street Fighters is the worst fighter of that dog. Like that shit was baffling because they literally released it just for Evo, and then they had to patch everything else later on as they went on. Because like I said, Blanca DLC, uh, Dasim, the dude who can stretch his arm, whatever DL, uh, DLC as well. Um, oh, who's another one that I'm trying to remember? Oh, um, the dude with the with the uh, scar across his chest with the tiger knee, with the one eye, mm. with the eye patch. Mm, I don't uh, know. You know, you know what I'm talking about though, right? Yeah, him. He was also DLC. So basically, characters that are like known in like the in the Street Fighter universe. DLC. Like they had almost everybody as DLC in that game. And at this point, at this point, yo, the party chat was in the DLC, man. It definitely was. Like, man. That to me was just insane, and the fact that it was just a lot like it wasn't fully allowed because people definitely weren't playing that fucking game because of that shit. People definitely put that game down because of that. Yeah, that is one thing companies, even though they might have a diehard fan base, I need a lot of companies to realize there's only so much that even a diehard fan is allowed that is willing to take. Sagat, good looking chef. Yeah, Sagat was even in the game. A, like. Like even just bringing back up 2K, there is a lot. There was a lot of diehard like 2K content creators, like Tycino, stopped playing 2K for a good minute. He was uploading Fortnite videos. Yeah, Tycino was in his bag on Fortnite too. Yeah. That nigga was uploading mad Fortnite videos. I would say in two in 2017, 2018, that nigga Tycino probably uploaded more Fortnite videos than 2K videos, and that nigga was still the number one shot creator on 2K18. <laughs> Like, dog, yeah. Hey, man, hey, chef, man. Hey, chef, I need you to go down the street. Go get me a chopped cheese and send that home in the mail, B. You sure you want that, dog? That sounds like it's going to be ass by the time it gets to you. You understand? Chopped cheese is fire, nigga. I, no, no, I understand. Chopped cheese is fire. But I'm saying, like, are, are you sure you want him to send that by mail? Yeah, bro. Cause that I don't sound like it's gonna be yeah, good. But I, 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 I get here, it will be. Eight. But then Capcom, then Capcom, uh, nasty, <laughs> Capcom, you stink. That shit, <laughs> that shit was crazy, dog. <laughs> Them niggas threw everything on the patty and thought they killed the nigga. They tried to bury the body. Now I don't. <laughs> Man, go to New York and get me on How do you how do you try to bury a body? Only dig a hole like one foot deep 
and be surprised when my body ain't big. <laughs> I mean, I ain't gonna forgive them for what they did with uh, the. They had microtransactions and fucking uh, Devil May Cry either. I ain't forget that. Microtransactions in single player games is one of the most egregious things I think I've seen in all my years of gaming. Oh no, Rob, that's fact. Cap is in the name. It's in the name of the company. Good one, Rob. Yeah. But that mm-hmm. is that is definitely facts. But I mean, they did that, and I mean, even the game that I love, and y'all know I love this game because it was my most played game of like that year, Shadow of War. That one definitely did too. Yeah, like when not whenever I see like even uh, the Assassin's Creed games, they got microtransactions in there, and I'm just like, yo, this is a sing- I'm just saying DLC. Hey, woo. Hold on, microtransactions, dog. He's trying to no scope, dog. I really am. I, but I really wish you would just skip that. <laughs> I'm trying to get but into like, the mind of a sniper. Player games with microtransactions is like some of the wildest shit I've seen, and people will pay for. It. Mm-hmm. And that's why like, they do it, though. DLC, oh, this this DLC, is- I understand. Because like, yeah. I want the Batman's DLC. I want all the Batman DLC because that shit would be fire to play. But like he's invested now. Batmobile Batman, and all invested. I still don't like how much the Batmobile is used, but you get used to it. But uh all like the Batman DLC, Spider Man DLC, single player DLC, when it's done right, it's fire. Yeah, did you play the Spider Man DLC yet? I I don't have it. I want to play it. I wish you would. But Microtransactions? Like, if I got on Spider-Man and figured out, yeah, to unlock the suits, I got to use actual money. Um. Okay, so the only game that I know that is making it mad hard like that, you ain't got to use money, and it ain't microtransactions. They just, they just being mad OD with the way they're doing it. Crash Bandicoot? Mm-hmm. Nigga, you got to get six gems by doing certain stuff on the, on the game. To get the costume. Jeez. See, that's just that's just trying to be OD with. Yeah, it. but ain't, yeah, like ain't nobody doing all that, bro. Shit. Nobody normal, bro. <laughs> Shit. Normal. Chase ain't doing it. <laughs> that's said, that level of normal. We said normal. These <laughs> abnormal motherfuckers don't Chase count. Is- Chase is normal. Yo, what? what, what no, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. No, I was about to say, I consider Chase, a lot of the games, he's very casual when he's playing. Normal. Oh, well, shit. So much for my workout. <laughs> but, yeah, motherfuckers, nah. Like, them GDQ dudes, oh, they different. Yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah, there, there's a lot of niggas that will do that shit, but, like, Say like UFC, like I remember Chase ran about that. The UFC where you can't even use all the money that you have <laughs> to buy clothes. You can't use your money at all. There's basically nothing to buy with. You just got to give you money just so you can rack it up and do nothing with it. Just look at it. <laughs> hey, I just got all these M's. What you gonna buy with it? Uh, it's not that. Like I can't buy nothing with it. You wear all that money, all that money inside your pocket. <laughs> so, uh, really, like this money don't really mean nothing because you know in UFC currency to American dollars, it's like all this money is like half a penny. But like, basically, yeah, microtransactions in a single player mode is ridiculous. Some of the most ridiculous shit I've seen. Like, dog, niggas is gonna put you just put out DLC, you just put out good DLC, and niggas will buy it. <laughs> Yo, you look at Ghost of Tsushima, dog. I ain't never seen a group of niggas so happy <laughs> oh. for some DLC. Granted, it's free, but like, I ain't never seen some niggas so happy to see DLC drop. Like, I think the only thing that could ever match this is Grand Theft Auto ever for once gave us our damn Lamar DLC. Man, I just put out a new game at this point. Let's put out a new game. I mean, I still want my Lamar DLC. And Chef, nah, brother. We, gotta go. we don't need to answer that question, brother. You know what I'm saying? Nah. You know what I'm saying? Let's, uh, nah. We ain't talking about that? Nah, we're not talking about that, brother. Big you bricks in the chat. That's what I'm saying. It was ass. 
Nah, it ain't that it's ass. My guy can't play it, man. Oh, uh, yeah. I thought I thought that was old, so I thought he might have already played it. Oh man, Xbox screwed me in the ass, man. I was trying to make a video. They screwed me in the ass. PlayStation. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. Yeah, my my shit got break. That shit's great. Whatever. I hate it here. Get out. Y'all got anything else? Uh. Did uh, we play anything after? I'm literally about to probably go shower and then go to my parents' house. I was supposed to go work out, but it's like damn near five o'clock. I'm not about to try to work out and then go bowl and fuck around and go up, up below my average. I also still need to go eat and shower and then start my stream. So, what you trying to I don't know. I really don't feel like playing that beta. Stream cooking simulator. Boy, can I go? I don't know. I will stream me just sitting here before I stream whatever you just said. <laughs> Ooh, you trying, to, you trying to play this song? Um... I ain't even gonna do it, dog. I ain't gonna say, oh, we ain't gonna be here actually. So I would uh, say, we ain't gonna be home. You trying to play that song? I do need to get back on the game. We all own that game, yo. <laughs> You realize that he owns it, but his PlayStation is bricked. I got uh, it on PC no. as well. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hush list, hush list. Well, you have it on PC? Yes. Yes. But how? Because he has EA Play, brother. Well, I don't. <laughs> oh, I missed that shit. That's good. Five dollars ain't on the game. I mean, that shit will always be great. Where is your fat bitch jumped on me? I'm right next to you. <laughs> oh. Where is your fat bitch jumped on me? <laughs> Oh, there! What the fuck is jumped on us, man? Yeah, I'm, out here. Oh, man. I'm, I'm definitely down to play Anthem again, though. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be a hipster and be a part of Anthem before like they do like the whole revamp thing and it gets good again. I'm telling you, I've never had more people in my stream. I had 17 people watching us play Anthem. Hey, man. This motherfucker Anthem. is ice skating, dog. I hate it here. I'll probably get on this beta. He's a big decided on what the hell he wants to play. If if I play a first person shooter, it's gonna be Modern Warfare. I'm not playing that Cold War beta. I'm not putting myself in that again. Modern Warfare. I want a sweet flickering cut. I don't I really know what I want to play. I might play Overwatch. I'm yes. looking in the podcast, actually. I'm down with that. All right. But you're going to have to summon Din Din because I can't get in contact with the little bastard.